Hello everyone, welcome to City Skylines. My name is Ryan and this is the beautiful city of Rytropolis. I don't know how I became mayor of a city that doesn't have any population whatsoever. I like to think of it as a Romulus and Remus type situation. And this barren patch of land will be my Rome. Okay, so I'm going to start by obviously building the first road. Let's drag this out to here. And that do the same. And two out there, and two out there. I built that slightly askew, didn't I? I thought that. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. I'm, I'm never sure ever how to start these games, because I don't like the first real road going from highway to standard road, but it's all we're given, so it'll have to do. Something's not, I have made this road slightly wonky, haven't I? It doesn't quite, it doesn't feel like it's matching up quite right. This is, this is the basis of our, our first uh, opening village. This is where our houses and commercial zones are going to go. So for now, let's uh, residentialize all this. And why not this little bit and all. Do more than we need. And this will be our commercial zoning. And now our city is starting to build around us. Are they coming? Are people coming? Let's just watch our city build slowly. I know I've got stuff to do, but let's watch it build. I always like it. So the houses are built, so people should be coming in fairly soon. Okay, maybe people don't turn up until I actually connect it to power and water. So let's get water going. Let's get water flowing. Standard water pumping station. Let's put it over. And uh, no, that's going to put it there. And sewage plant over this side. So that it's not taking sewage to the same patch of water it's taking the water out from. Can I get this? Straight as on it straight as possible. So there you go. All right, not the most efficient of uh, piping setups, but it'll do. It'll do. Just here, people, people aren't coming in yet. No one lives here. Our oh, people are. People do live here. Didn't see one drive up. Normally, you see them drive up. Never mind. They want power. So for power, we're gonna go with. Let's build this road out here. Let's stretch this out right to the distance. And they can plop down one of them coal power plants. Because fuck the environment. Power is more important this time. They need power to power their TVs and their Xboxes and their many, many air filters that they're going to need. It's a vicious cycle. Oh, also, power lines, power lines, power lines. Drag that to there and that should power everything, hopefully. Job done. Water plants still need power, so I need to figure out What's cheaper? Wind turbine is six thousand pound. So that's gonna cost me twelve thousand to power that. And if I do this instead, that's that's gonna cost me like two thousand. So that's gonna be despite ugly as fuck, this is gonna be the cheaper way. I have in the past just powered these by a single lonely wind turbine. But let's save money, let's do it this way. Isn't that ugly? That's absolutely horrible. And we're short on money already. So, short on money, there's only one thing for it. And that is to invite industry to come to our lovely city. And continually to add to our pollution problem that we're no doubt going to have. And they need water as well. So 
So hopefully this industry will uh, power our city's economy and something, something. Because we don't have any schools, we don't have any fire stations, don't have a police station, or anything, you know, slightly worth living in the city for. But Elisa Adams loves it here, her in a big bite restaurant. It's building up quite nicely. People are slowly driving in. Look, he's doing a U-turn in traffic. That's great. Let's see where these these are going. Where do they live? No, not that. There you go. Nice, happy family moving into their new home and taking a really awkward route from the car to their front door. Yep. Cool. Go no need to go that way, but never mind. People are moving in and people are happy. And there are jobs for, for everyone and we're still losing a shit ton of money. We need more industry. But we've got space for industry and people aren't moving in. Fuck them. Plenty of space for industry there. It'll build. It'll build over time. But now we have a definite money problem. So, because we're only a, we're not even a hamlet yet, we have a population of 279. So that's a, that's a very small population. We don't have control over taxes, so we're gonna adjust the water. Is that as low as it gets? Yeah, we need to adjust how much we're spending on water and power. Hopefully, we can bring it right down and still have enough power for our lovely thriving economy. Same with roads. Fuck the roads. We don't need roads. People still seem to be getting power on water. Isn't that excellent? Still a bit short on money though, but hopefully when more, just a few more people move in. There you go. We're in the positive. We're in the positive. So let's name this road now, because this is the main road running to our industry se sector. So it's going to need to be named, and it's going to be called Don't Worry. Don't worry about the smog road to keep everyone nice and certain that they don't have to worry about the horrible smog coming in from that road. And apparently, don't worry about the smog road wraps all the way around our commercial sector as well. Yep, it's all don't worry about a smog road. But never mind. So there's a little hamlet, a little growing quite nicely. We're going to need more residential zones. But that's not a problem. I can build more residential zones. We're getting money rolling in. People are paying their taxes. It's what I like to see. So let's uh, build more residential. Keep a nice, simple grid layout for now. Makes things nice and easy. That's industry. Now that's residential. And they too are going to need water. And now we're broke, but we're making money. We don't have any money to spend, but we're making money. So we're going to need a school, some police stations, some fire stations, stuff like that. The amenities that people need to generally live and survive and have a grand old time. But otherwise, Vitropolis is, is thriving. Sort of. If you, don't, if you look at it from this angle, it's a beautiful beautiful serene peaceful countryside the uh, village don't worry about over there it's just this this is lovely don't look at that this is it this is it here and what's this everyone doesn't have jobs seven jobs available so you asked me for industry oh we need loads of industry and now we need loads of fucking people so i we're building, we're building houses. You'll get your job, you'll get a little worker soon enough. And now we have services. Now we have healthcare and education and garbage. 
But we can raise taxes. Finally. So now we've got medical clinic, elementary school and landfill site to worry about. Because now people are going to start expecting them, aren't they? Of course they bloody are. Oh, we got we get a little bit of money though. So what can we build with the money? 10,000 for the school. 10,000 for medical clinic. I can't afford to run either of them, I don't believe. Oh, no, I can I can run the school. The school's nice and low volume. So I'm going to put the school here right in the center right off off our main residential area. There you go. I can run just one school. You're going to have to live without a clinic for the time being. If you get sick, uh, I was going to say die, but we don't have a graveyard either. So if you get sick, deal with it. Walk it off. And uh, if there's ever an industrial accident and you lose a leg or something, also walk it off. But I'm not going to look too much at that because this is our nice village. Everything's nice and lovely. We continue to look at this. Change those road types there to one-way roads. They are, allow a little bit more traffic in from the highways. Won't make much of a difference. They're still joining up with a, a standard road, but I don't know. It seems makes sense to have one lane road from a one lane road instead of just an empty lane not going, not being used. And there's the city's going quite well. People are still requesting their rubbish be taken away. How much does it take to run a landfill? One thousand one hundred and sixty pounds a week. Yeah, we can we can swing for that. We could probably swing for a, a hospital now as well. I'm not going to because I'm a bastard and I want my people to be ill for now. Money's more important at this point in time. And there's our truck. Oh. And there's a little truck. Look, making its way down. Don't worry about the smog road towards our citizens to take away their trash. This is part of the game that. I really enjoy but I don't do enough. Just looking at the, the city go by and things happen. Let's, let's, let's see this uh, garbage guy work for a minute. Let's see him do his job. He doesn't even need to stop to collect the rubbish. Look at him, look. He's just... Oh, there's another garbage man. Two of them on the same road. That's efficient. This is how you get your funding cut, guys. Make stupid mistakes like this and you get your funding cut. Idiots. Well, one of them's going to be out of a job. So that can come down. And that can come down. I'll probably push it back up later, hopefully, if I remember. I'll keep education funding as is, because education is important. Actually, no. Sod it. I don't care about the kids. We only have uh, industry at the moment, so we don't need educated people. Even further than that. 61%. 62% why not and now we can look in it we can afford to bring in a hospital just about afford a hospital and just about afford to run a hospital so it's definitely wise for a mayor of a city to build things they can only barely afford in the city that's how great cities are built okay so there's a heavy heavy demand for more houses now so let's, let's expand out a little bit oh that's a one way road all the roads I've built recently are one-way road, one roads. Okay, I'll have to... This cannot happen. There cannot be. There you go. Okay, simple fix, simple problem. So, just a little bit more housing there. I think they're all connected to the water supply already. Yeah, they're all in the water supply already. Spanned out a bit this way. Oh, not enough, ro not enough money. Okay. Won't expand out a bit that way there. I'll just have that little nubbin of a road sticking out there. Hey, we're a worthy village. So you can go and lock some plenty of stuff there. A lot of stuff to worry about now. Specialization for our industry so we can move away from this heavy industry into more agriculture. Less impact on the environment. That'll be nice. But, fuck it. I don't care. But we do have firehouse and police station now, which is a good thing for our villagers, but a bad thing for me because I have to pay for the fucker. Can we use the new money from our upgrade to uh, expand out the city a little bit? So now I've got plenty more space for more, more happy 
citizens to move in and live. And lovely roads like Broad Street and Middle Street. And what is no longer, don't worry about the smog road. Right, so it's Walker Street down to here for some reason, of all places. And then don't worry about the smog road to the actual place where the smog is. So that works. So I'm starting to think some of these are fronts for meth labs. Because this is an ice cube factory for fuck's sake. What's an ice cube factory doing producing that much steam? I've got my eye on you. And it says Mattox Winching Co there. How can it be a Winching Co factory if it's an ice cube factory? This is a conspiracy that goes right to the top. It goes right to the mayor's office. Oh, I am the mayor. Uh, don't worry about that. Your, citizen, your mayor is not involved in mesh dealership whatsoever. Move along, happy citizens. Okay, everyone's running out of power. So let's, uh, let's pump up the power generation again. Back up to 100%. Where it should be. Get power to the people. Okay, so water and power is back up to 100%. We've got a profitable little uh, little city growing now, so there's no need for more more budget cuts. So let's name these districts just for a little bit of a uh, little bit of flavour. Emerson Heights. This doesn't look like an Emerson Heights. It's gonna be. This is gonna be Dirty Skies Valley. So everyone knows what they can expect from there and this over here the main residential area of our city so far that's it this is gonna be flavor town And um, we've upgraded again. We didn't even do anything. We upgraded. Aren't we good? So we still haven't added uh, <laughs> police or fire. But I think we'll do that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.